Eric Hammer here, registered physiotherapist. Today, I'd like to talk to you about the importance of proper form uh, and proper biomechanics when doing a squat. But before I begin, please hit that subscribe button below so you'll be notified about any new videos I have here on my channel. So essentially, when we're doing a squat, we want to make sure that we're actually utilizing the correct muscles or we can create issues, injuries, um, problems from, again, a, either a neuromuscular or a biomechanical perspective in terms of how we're utilizing our knee and our hip correctly. So in, in some cases, right, uh, what we'll find when I see a patient perform a squat is in some ways they'll be overly dominant in muscles in the front of the leg, which essentially is relying on the knee to a larger extent. So for example, using the quads more um, or using some of the muscles in through the front of the pelvis uh, and not actually utilizing the glutes correctly. And this is a problem in that the glute muscle, so the glute max, the glute med muscle, they're gonna be uh, stronger, more powerful muscles for doing larger impact type activities. And so by not utilizing them, you, you're potentially creating an issue with kneecap pain, uh, you might be creating some problems in terms of IT band irritation, you might be creating issues in terms of uh, issues with the patellar tendon or the quad tendon. So there's all sorts of different consequences to that. And also, quite frankly, you're not going to be as powerful with more dynamic type movements, right? More sports specific movements, for example. So I want to go through a couple things just to look out for when you're doing a squat and again, how to utilize the hips correctly. So I'm going to just show you from the side first. So one thing that I'll see in a lot of cases, right, uh, is that patients will essentially not, not um, move from the hip as, dramatic, as dramatically as we'd like, right? So there's not a lot of angle going into it, right? So this would actually be more of a correct approach in which essentially we're hinging through, right, that hip joint. And so what I'll see in a lot of cases is patients will be much too upright. So in this, right, we're actually, the majority of, our, of the torque is actually taking place at the knee as opposed to sitting back on the heel Right, and now I'm actually moving through and I've got a much better length tension angle right through my hip and to, to a, an extent I'm actually gonna be able to utilize my glutes um, much, much better in this type of approach versus when I'm standing upright. Okay, the other thing that I'll see as well is if I'm looking at a patient from the front view, uh, if we're doing it incorrectly, I'm looking at essentially what's going on at the knee. So when our glutes are weak, or if we're over utilizing quads in a lot of cases, when, when somebody's doing, let's say a single leg uh, squat, the knee will actually internally rotate. So it will go inwards as opposed to the patient really being able to stay over top of the, uh, keeping their knee, knee over top of their foot right and again having the majority of the weight going back utilizing the strength through the hip area so these are a couple things right to, just to look out for and things to correct and and in future videos i'll go through some specific ways right that you can utilize these muscles correctly when doing a squat if you have any specific questions or concerns feel free to leave a comment below and please check with a physiotherapist to make sure that this exercise is appropriate for you Thanks again for watching and have a great day. Take care.